Two homeschooled kids, one curious toddler, and two disorganized parents. What could go wrong? <laughs> as a part of the One Hot Mess collaboration hosted by the lovely Amanda at Mind Your Matters on YouTube, I am sharing one of my hot messes and how I tried to keep it organized. So first, let's go over what this area in my house is and why it's always so messy. This is kind of what I call my homeschool corner. So I have the bookshelves there because we use a lot of books for our homeschool. And then obviously we do our homeschooling at the table. You can see all the stuff there. And stuff just ends up getting up on top of the little cabinet as well because now the baby can get into everything that's on the table. And the table is pushed up against our cabinet because she can open the cabinet doors and we just haven't put on child locks yet. So it's absolutely always messy and it drives me crazy but it's really just really hard to even keep it organized at all today the bookshelf actually doesn't look terrible which is kind of surprising it's like on the one day that i'm gonna make this video it's not completely destroyed because what my toddler does is she pulls all the books off and they're just in a huge pile underneath the bookshelf so usually it'll take me at least 10 or 15 minutes every morning and every night to put all that away. So today there are just a few books scattered around, but really not terrible. So today what I'm gonna focus on is just kind of straightening up the shelves themselves. On top of the table is just about everything. And like I said, my toddler can get into this area now, so it's even worse. Uh, there's junk there, there are the remotes, cause we use the Xbox to watch things like stream shows and all that. And then there's the TV remote. There's just a bunch of like dust and little crumbs all over the table. There's garbage there, there's old art supplies. So I want to make sure to throw away everything that we don't need and just put things away where they actually belong so they're not just sitting out for everybody to see. My kids like to do a lot of wardrobe changes every day so there are some clothes under the table so I will put those away as well. On top of the homeschool cabinet where also the TV is set temporarily for now until we're done with Dr. Pohl, uh, that's kind of just where we've been storing homeschool supplies every day which I don't really like but that's just where they kind of just get set and then left for the next day just so they're easily accessible because inside of that cabinet is where I keep all of my homeschool items but since we have to have the table pushed against it it's not really that easy to just pull the table out every single time we have to access something for our homeschool. So homeschool supplies end up just getting left on top of the cabinet and I'm not really utilizing my homeschool cabinet as a whole as much as I would like. Inside the homeschool cabinet is a lot of the curriculum we just haven't been using a lot. So when I'm cleaning that out today, I want to make sure to kind of just weed out what I haven't been using or things we're done with so that I can set those aside. All that kind of stuff just to kind of clean it out and make it look way neater than it currently does. Okay, well, here I go. I'm going to go clean it up and you can watch me do it. <laughs>
Okay. I am back. That was a good cleaning session. I actually went a little deeper than I usually do, and I'm not by any means a cleaning expert, but the table was way stickier than I was expecting, so I needed to go at it with a sponge. But in all, I'm really happy with everything that I got done, and that was actually really super quick. I know I sped all that footage up, but um, it did, really didn't take me that long to do all that, and the area looks so much better now. The bookshelves are all straightened out now, and even on top of that black bookshelf, the shorter one, I straightened that area up too, so it looks really good. I vacuumed, I even like dusted off the top of the cabinet and the table, and uh, yeah, it looks so much better. I'm really happy with it. One thing I always forget about is like getting underneath things, so obviously I picked up all the clothes off the ground, I vacuumed, but I also vacuumed a bit underneath the homeschool cabinet because it gets really dusty down there and I'm actually surprised at how much stuff ends up back there. It's like little pieces of art supplies or yarn or tape or whatever. So uh, it, it's, it's probably a lot less dusty in the house now, even just vacuuming that one corner of the house. And it was also nice because I was able to kind of sort through the homeschool items and move a lot of the things that just really we weren't currently using. So um, I think that'll feel really nice when we have to access that area now because what is in there is what we're actually using. I don't have to like move past the things that we're not using anymore. I think that's it for me today. I feel super accomplished. I don't know about you. I'm, my coffee is kicking in. I love having a clean house. Not that the, my whole house is clean because that's just one corner of it. But yeah, I'm just super happy with how it went and this was really fun. Just a reminder, this is part of a collaboration hosted by Amanda at Mind Your Matters. This is the One Hot Mess collaboration. Super fun to take part in and I encourage you to look at the playlist linked below for more hot messes that other people are cleaning up. How often do you go through your homeschool items and get rid of what you're not using? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. See you next time.